Now, recent findings by the World Bank have revealed that 50% of 10-year-old students in developing countries struggle with literacy. A post-COVID assessment revealed that this figure had increased to 70%. Managing Director of Operations for the World Bank, Anna Bierde, shared the outcome of this investigation in, on a visit to the new Bawe Municipal Basic One School to assess the progress of the Ghana Accountability for Learning Outcomes project, that is Gallup. There is more in this report. The Ghana Accountability for Learning Outcome project, Gallup, is an initiative founded by the World Bank. The project supports 10,500 schools nationally. The World Bank Managing Director of Operations, Anna Bijedi, as part of her visit to Ghana, went to the Wijakbawi Municipal Assembly Basic One School, one of the beneficiaries of the Gallup project. She expressed concern about the inability of pupils and students in developing countries to comprehend what they read. So before COVID, we were... Um, tracking data of 10-year-old children to see how many 10-year-old children in the world had a difficult time reading a story that was appropriate for their age and understanding it fully. For developing countries, low-income and low-middle-income countries around the world, 57% of those 10-year-olds actually had difficulty. That was a high number, we felt, and gave us a reason before COVID to really focus and continue to focus on education and learning, actually trying to quantify and understand whether children were learning. After COVID, we have reassessed that number, and it's not a good outcome. We now put the number at 70%. Seven out of 10 children at age of 10 have a hard time reading a story and fully comprehending it. Deputy Minister of Education in Team Forjo indicated the Gallup project has helped significantly in improving the literacy of students in the country. Thanks to the support under Gallup, a number of interventions under the Gallup uh, program was targeted at remediation um, programs post-COVID. So whilst COVID um, took a hit, learning losses were occasioned, but we had some interventions that addressed some remediation. So after that, in the year 2021, in December 2021, we did a national standardized test. The outcome of our national standardized test was that 54% of learners around the age of 10 are able to read proficiently at grade level. But 56% is not where we want to get to. We actually want to ensure that minimum, our target, our strategic target is to ensure minimum 90% of learners at the age of 10 are able to read proficiently at grade level. Uh, we saw two classrooms, B2 class and B3 class. And what I saw was a very, very engaged group of students with teachers with just excellent skills to keep the students learning, uh, keep them motivated, building on each other, which was great. Um, going forward, we did ask the teachers if there was anything else that they felt they needed. And I think one thing that they very much appreciate more of is equipment like printers, uh, to be able to print more documents in, in color, for example, as part of the teaching curriculum. And of course, as always, and I know that the Ministry of Education is paying attention to this, always the ratio of students to a teacher, keeping it within reasonable numbers so that the teacher has time for all the students. But I have to say I saw a strong engagement and very good reading skills and comprehension skills. Headmaster of Weja Bawe Municipal Assembly Basic One School, Bob John, said the Gallup project has improved teaching and learning in the school. Currently, with the Ghana Education Service System, we are having teachers coming from our various colleges who have learned this form of skill in early childhood. And that's why, when we come, we make sure that the creativity aspect of our classrooms enables the children to pick the learning from there. At least 2.9 students have benefited from the Gallup project. Esther Inkroma's report read to you.